In this video, I'm going to present to you the overall e-commerce strategy that we're going to use in this course, and hopefully you'll see why it's going to be so effective. And the way to succeed with an e-commerce business is because it's usually very competitive, you've got to only do the most effective strategies and you've got to do them really well. That's the main key to success in this business. And there are some things that are not going to be in this course very much, a little bit, but not much, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And you might be thinking like, well, I was thinking to sell on Instagram and social media and Facebook and all that. And in fact, most first time sellers, they try to promote on Instagram, Facebook, social media referrals, maybe even business cards and flyers, who knows. But the distinction that I want to make is that these are mostly for branding and audience growth but not direct sales. And we first and foremost want to capture people who are shopping. So we'll focus on SEO because when people shop, let's say I want to buy socks, I'm going to go into Amazon or Google and I'm going to type socks. I'm basically going to search and do SEO. And that is why the SEO brings us consistent, highest quality leads who buy that's seo and that's the difference between seo and social media on social media people are mostly browsing they might know that you're selling socks they're not buying the socks right now people who are buying right now are searching that's who we want and we're not only going to focus on seo for google for your website we're going to actually go far beyond google because if you think about it Amazon is a search engine, Etsy is a search engine, eBay, Udemy, Apple App Store, there's so many, or iTunes, depending on what you are selling, there's one or two really highly matching, really good online stores where you can sell your products. And you might say, well, Amazon has a lot of restrictions and all this, they take a commission. Sure, that is true. But this reason and other reasons why you might not want to do business on Amazon almost all the time pale in comparison to the tremendous revenue you can generate from those sites because they are billion dollar sites. They're like gigantic oceans. The amount of sales we can generate from our own websites compared to Amazon, of course, it's like a leaking faucet compared to an ocean. And that's why those are extremely effective at generating you sales and really substantial revenue. And actually, usually it's going to be from free organic ranking on those sites and on Google, not ads. But we will cover ads in this course as well because there are some good ads like Google Shopping ads are made specifically to capture people while they're shopping. We're going to focus on retargeting ads, people who are warmer leads who've already come to our site. And we're going to examine a few other types of shopping ads. So specifically shopping ads, not random Facebook ads or not random ads anywhere. And one thing about ads, you don't want to start running them because they're costly before your sales conversion is high. So in this course, we're going to also cover your sales conversion so that people who come to your site buy at a higher rate than they do now, perhaps. So we'll have that whole holistic strategy in this course, higher conversion rates, more will get you higher converting traffic and we'll make sure that you're selling on absolutely the most effective platforms for your business. So now that you see the strategy we're going for, we're going to prioritize direct sales to maximize your revenue. Let's go forward with the course.